Welcome to another Spunky Review. This is a review of my April favorite. So we're going to start off with some makeup products. And my favorite makeup products for April include four mini lip glosses. And these lip glosses are from the Bare Essentials line. And you can get these at Sephora and they're called Bosom Babes Sailor Girls. And the first color is the color that I have on. It is called Marina. And I have this on over a nude lipstick. I prefer to wear a nude lipstick with all of these. And it's really fun because you can take your basic nude lipstick but change out the color. And you get the prettiness of the gloss but you still have the depth of the lipstick. So I just have on the nude right now with Marina. And it's just a really pretty shiny glossy pink color. The next color is called Sunny. And Sunny is just a neutral caramel brownish color. It's great for every day if you just want to throw on some mascara and a little bit of lip gloss to run some errands um, or if you're at the beach. And this is also really pretty over a nude lipstick because it brings out the nude color um, but it just looks really pretty and natural. And the third color is called Skipper. Skipper is kind of comparable to the color that I have on now, which is the Marina. However, Skipper is a little more peachy orange, or maybe coral, I should say, um, than the, the first color, the Marina. And usually, I can't really wear colors that have a lot of orange in them, but I think that I could actually pull this off so long as I wear um, a toned down, maybe a brown eyeshadow or some kind of eyeshadow that's not too crazy. And the last color is called Misty. Misty is really cool and I actually prefer to wear this alone with maybe just a little bit of um, lip liner. It's just a real pretty shimmery color. It has enough metallic in it to catch the light of the other colors of makeup that you're wearing. Um, so it's, it's really pretty at night. And especially if you want to do a dramatic eye, this is a lot of fun. Just, just put on the, the lip liner and no, no lipstick and just do this lip gloss with a dramatic eye. And it really brings out the colors of the dramatic eye. And I have a few more makeup products. Um, first, I have MAC. This is a MAC eyeshadow actually that I purchased at a makeup outlet. And this is called Lotus Land. I have it on my eyes right now. And it's just a really pretty purple. And what I like about Lotus Land is the fact that it looks like a vivid purple, but when you put it on, I probably have on two to possibly three um, shades right now. I mean, well, it's this one shade, but two to three applications because when you put it on, it's really light and you can barely see it. So you have to kind of layer it. But if you wanted to wear this during the day to work, you could just do one application and you would be fine. But it's also fun at night to kind of layer it on a little heavier and wear it out. And I love purple eyeshadow. Purple eyeshadow is a big trend for the spring and summer. Um, I've seen a lot of purple eyeshadow looks in the magazines, and I highly recommend this. I know that a lot of people on YouTube love MAC products. You guys should definitely check it out, and it's also great for blue eyes or brown eyes. I'm not really sure if you have green eyes how this would look, but um, blue or brown could definitely pull it off. And the next eyeshadow I have is just a sample eyeshadow that I got from Sephora. But I plan on buying this in a regular size. It's called the Aspen Summit uh, 923. And this is awesome because it's a great highlighter. This eyeshadow makes all the difference in the world. Um, right now, all I have on is the purple eyeshadow. And then I took the white and I highlighted my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. And so if you're feeling tired or you just need a little extra, to your eye makeup, 
this is great. It's fun to wear out at night. It gives you a little extra sparkle. And then you could also wear it during the day, maybe blend it in with some of your daily, more neutral colored eyeshadows. And I also picked up some Bobbi Brown eyeshadow while I was there. I do love Bobbi Brown products. I think they're great for your skin. And this is called Copper Penny. I wear a lot of gold colored eyeshadow. And I have the Half Baked, which is from Urban Decay. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on that. And I actually did a review on it. Um, and a lot of people love it. But sometimes the Half Baked, um, for especially if you have more of a professional job, it may be a little much during the daytime. So this is sort of a toned down version of the Half Baked. It's gold, but it's just a pretty light shimmery gold. So this is a great everyday color and um, it would be good for a vacation to wear during the day and it's very beachy and that was bobby brown copper penny and the next product i have to review is a mascara and this is covergirl mascara it's called lash blast volume this is just something that i picked up at the checkout line um, i needed some mascara and I did not have time to go to a major department store, so I just wanted to grab something. And I'd heard people say this was good. Um, I've actually heard people say they like the yellow also, but I believe I like the orange the best. The only thing that I have to say about this is that it does kind of tend to clump a little bit, but it gives a really good coverage. And the brush is great because the brush is thick, so it's easy to apply and it goes on really evenly. Um, and it's cheap. It's, this mascara is as good as some $20, $20 mascaras out there. And this was probably 7 bucks. I picked it up when I picked up some magazines at the grocery store checkout line. So it's definitely worth the buy. And my final makeup product for April is the Tweezer Man Tweezers. These tweezers are awesome. They have been reviewed in a lot of the fashion and beauty magazines, and they've gotten great reviews. See the little tip on the very end? Um, it looks like this tip would be very difficult to use, um, but it is fabulous. And it's great. It's great if you want to tweeze your eyebrows. I try not to tweeze mine too much, um, but it's, it is. It's really good, and I highly recommend it. They were kind of expensive. They were probably $20 or $25 at Sephora, but I actually have a friend who is um, an esthetician, and she does a lot of eyebrows too, and she loves these tweezers, and I agree with her. They're definitely worth the money. And again, it's Tweezer Man Tweezers. And that is all I have for my April Favorites video. Bye-bye. Stay spunky.